Hey guys, and welcome back to the adorable game of Super Mario Odyssey. Today we are... Oh. 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 So hey guys, and welcome back to this bizarre episode. So yes, we are fighting an electric dragon. In case I didn't think I was going to say that today, I totally am, and totally did, and... Anyway, so you got to get, actually, a little bit of a glimpse of um, Bowser Kingdom's interesting um, theme that I was mentioning. Not really this. It doesn't involve Electro Dragons with buzzsaw magical blades or whatever the heck is happening here. Which, by the way, <coughs> besides being one of the most thematically original... Uh, can't jump because I was fixing a thing. Uh, besides being one of the most thematically original uh, Mario worlds, probably one of the most original Mario bosses, so good on you for that, Nintendo. It's, it's actually really nice. Um, that being said, you may notice the little crown thing on his head isn't just like a regular crown. It very much resembles that of like, you know, samurai, like, uh, you know, Frickin' um, sumo wrestler, like Japan. <laughs> Japanese. Japanese! Yeah, of course it killed me. Japanese, like, you know, kind of theming. And that's because this world may not have. Oh, come the heck on. Of course. <laughs> Battle with the Lord of Lightning. What, what does this map say? I, I have to know. Crumbledon! A grim reminder of past conflicts. Population unknown. Temperature. An average 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that's kind of... Stark land long past its glory days. I wonder what kind of kingdom this was beforehand. Mid the ruins, these swords surely stand out. They are thought to be left after a large battle here in Crumbledon. One certainly feels a sense of intentionality in the way they're struck straight down, as if they've fallen from the sky. Some say they're not swords, but rather nails or stakes. Perhaps the islets to the top allowed ropes or chains... The, through to anchor something, but it's impossible to say what. Oh my gosh, are these stakes supposed to be used to like capture this dragon? And if so, they're Bowser stakes. There's some lore here. Mad Pack, get on it. Reaching for the heavens, this tower once collected energy from lightning in the thunderclouds. <laughs> this tower once collected energy from lightning in the thunderclouds that constantly swirl here. Some say it was destroyed by repeated lightning strikes, but others note the unnatural shapes in which the tower crumbled and wonder if it fell into ruin for other reasons entirely. Sorry. I should probably be uh, reading this out loud. Great altar. Ruined dreams. This is crazy. There's some like weird, weird lore to this place. I'm not even kidding. I, I wish Matt Pat could see this. This is uh, not my video specifically, but you know, we'll just consider this. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's more to this, you know, that like, I mean, is the dragon Bowser's friend? And if so, the stakes that he probably used to hold the dragon down wouldn't be in the dragon's head. Granted, it's protecting his one weak spot, but I mean, that could have easily been caused by Bowser. Obvious struggle here from the claw marks of the dragon. But why would the dragon be struggling? Like, what would he be struggling with? Like, what? I mean, what is even any of this? How did he came to be? Where did he come from? Like, I don't know. I want to know more. That's awesome. Anyway, um, so, Japanese. You can kind of see it, you know, in the crown thing here. There you go. Oh crap, I forgot the the main part! Ow! I forgot the main part of the battle! Got a stump of your head! Somebody touch a my spaghetti! Okay. <laughs> Where the shit man? <laughs> Battling a dragon. So yeah, this is a very interesting game, but probably the best Mario game. Definitely one of my favorites. Probably my favorite Mario 3D Mario game of all time though. Yeah, I'd probably say it's this one. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine is an odd close second. Which, if you compare the two, makes literally no sense. Super Mario Sunshine was innovative for its time, of course. I mean, don't, 
you know, as quirky and as broken as that game is, you can't, you know, not give it credit where credit is due. That being said, it is quirky and it is broken. And it's goofy with the voice acting. Bowser! Brr! I'm Bowser! Brr! But I mean, this game has its quirks, but they're good quirks. And I don't know, like, it's still one of my favorites. Probably because of how broken it is, and how, like, easily, like, you can just break all the rules to get to places you're not supposed to be in. But then again, this game does the same thing. It just does it fixed. So I don't know. It's kind of an odd comparison, really. <laughs> just riding around. Don't mind me. Just trying to get... Oh my god, if you kill me again, I swear. No! Oh my god, it's all my life flashful signs. Well, I'm not gonna get you in this round, and then you'll probably kill me, so... That's ideal. Come on, come on. Do not hurt me! No! Oh, I dove! No! <laughs> I'll be right back. God! Okay, wow, okay. Significantly easier this time. Guess I should shut up for once and actually play the game. And, uh, good things will come to me. But anyway! Dragon. Yes. Defeat. Cool. That works out great. Almost defeat him without taking any damage, which I probably would have screamed about, but, uh... Oh, wait, now hold on one second. I'm sorry. You're not dead, are you? I know you're not dead, because I think you can come back here, and I think you can, like, kind of interact with the dragon. Can I... Can I go over here? Your wings are still up and flapping. I feel like jumping down there is my death. I feel like this is really stupid. I feel like the game wasn't prepared for me to... Okay. Nope, the game is prepared for me to do idiotic things. It's just also prepared to punish me for them. So, let's... Okay. I'm a moron. I'm an absolute moron. Logic would have stated. Yeah, okay. You can jump down the... The gross dragon's arm. Just grab the power moons first. Because logically... Oh my god. Because lo <coughs> Oh my god. <coughs> Kill me. Oh god. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, oh. Sorry, my throat is like... I was, I was like... I thought we were going to cut it because of the way my throat was. That crazy cap guy's down there. Hopefully that means the dragon's still defeated! And then my power moon's still waiting on me! Oh no! 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 Oh my god, are you serious?! Oh my god... <laughs> you should have killed me when you had the chance! One second! Okay, finally! Jesus, criminy... Christmas! Thank you! Okay, yes, I defeated I defeated the terrifying dragon. I did it. Me. Me. I did it. I did it. <clears throat> but what I wonder if you could like explore like his hands and back though. Freaking moron. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I ex <laughs> I'm so dumb. Oh my gosh, what do you even title an episode like this? Battle with the Lord of Lightning, that's what you title it. That's the, that's the episode title right there! Oh my god. I just... <clears throat> I literally had it. And I remember thinking, jumping off of this platform is a bad idea. Wait, where did, uh, where did Crazy Cap Guy go? He was right here! Right? I'm not. There was a crazy cap guy here. I see Hint Toad and Amiibo. There was a crazy cap guy. Am I. Okay. Is crazy cap up there? Severely doubt it. Where did crazy cap guy. He was right. I saw him. Show a clip. Thank you. I am not crazy. Hopefully there's a clip to show, because I'm not editing right now, and I might be crazy. Can you talk to me? 
So, the crazy cap guy just kind of disappeared, huh? That's the real lore, isn't it? So tired. So now, I can climb on you to my, my intent, my, oh, yeah, cool, coins, great, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's great for my morale and also for, you know, all the time that I wasted. Are these anything? I feel like these are just, like, coin bits. I feel like there's not anything worth to gain up here. Oh, oh, rocket ship. No, that's, that's great. Yeah, hey, uh, dragon. Mr. Medieval Electric Dragon, sir. You're exhausted, so you're going to continue to basically hover, from what I can understand, on top of this tower. How big are you? Uh, and, and, you know, while, while we're at it, screw you, screw Crazy Cap, and screw this planet, I'm out of here. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. Theming wise, it's on point. My character stands out like a sore thumb, but... What? What? Oh... Is that a platform? Okay... Alright... What do you... Ow... What do you want me to do with that game? I don't know what to do here. Classic Mario 101. But is there anything down there? I'm gonna kill myself to find out. <laughs> Death, yeah, okay. Could have uh could have pieced that mystery together. Game theory problem solved! Oh my gosh. Is there any purpose to like having that go a different way? Is there, like, a part of this puzzle that I'm gonna... I don't know. Guess it'll get more difficult over here? Guess we'll see. Okay, there we go. That makes more sense. I was like, what am I... missing? Okay. Is that good? I mean, it's a challenge. That's for sure. They did both of those entirely wrong. That's okay. Mario games wouldn't be fun. <laughs> Wait, is there something down there? I don't even know. I think I'm just an idiot. Well, this isn't the progression you guys probably wanted, but that's okay. Oh. Good. I'm glad I secretly discovered four coins. I only had to spend, you know, 20 in death to find it. So, all in all, I feel like a winner. I'm determined to- I'm determined to beat this now that I've, uh, now that I've, um, started it. Oh, come on. I'm saying it in the right way. Cool. Well, at least I'm not a complete... I'd be an idiot if I didn't go that way. But... Okay... It's just connected. I can look down there. Is there anything down here? I thought I saw something. Maybe not? Hold on. Hold on. We're about to... Whoa. Easy. Easy neon mode. No need for that. Now zoom out. Anything down there? Show me your secrets! Oh my gosh. Platform. Fine. I'm <laughs> tilting at everything. Fine. I don't care. But wait, what's over here? Maybe now I can get a better look. Or... Yeah, or I could have blur on. That would also work. Nope, there's nothing down there. Just death. Cool. <laughs> they keep turning on the neon mode for some reason. Go up! Go up! Oh my god. Let's scream. There's more? Oh. Okay, this makes a little bit more sense. Okay, come on. I know what you want from me, game. I see a Koopa shell line up when I know one. May have done everything else wrong, but not this part. I say that, but here we go. 
to find out. I want to like have them higher up so I can actually reach the power moon because I can't wall jump in flat mode. I was like, oh, I'll just wall jump. But I don't think, don't think that's a possibility. Uh oh, can I hit it from over here? Whoop. Okay. Do I need to have them? Okay, I need to have that personal lore at the very least. So hey guys, how's it going? We can call this the failure episode. That sounds great. Oh, I can just touch it. That would also work. Oh my god. Uh, call it Double Dragon. Be as misleading and clickbaity as possible. Try to think of something more misleading and more clickbaity. How about the pro episode? That'd be misleading and clickbaity. I think we found it. Uh, Roulette Tower. Thank you. What a clever name. I literally just grabbed that rocket out of spite. And I'm still somehow screwing everything up. So that's cool. Awesome. I'm glad this is a thing. Yay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Now to reset it. Just kidding. <laughs> I may be a moron, but I'm also dumb. Thank God. Let's get out of this stupid godforsaken kingdom. Grab the power moon! <laughs> Started doing this thing with Mary. <laughs> it's annoying as it is stupid. Where, um, whenever, like, someone says something that, like, would quote unquote get me upset, I just start going. Is because back when I had my throat and my voice, I was I was mimicking Senior Pelos. Uh, I can't do it. Or whatever, like the the freaking Toriel sound that he has in his Undertale um, parodies. Uh, I can't even do it right now, but it somehow transformed into and like. I do it all the- I used to do it all the time because it made her laugh. Now it doesn't make her laugh, now she just does it back, so I do it less now. Because <laughs> then I hear how annoying it is, I'm like, ah, yes, of course. Let's not do that ever again. But the Odyssey is prepared, and that's prepared and repaired. Oh my god. This is probably why I never knew there was a crazy cap guy here, because the thing freaking leaves without you. But he was literally there. I don't know what I triggered. That, it, I mean, that's definitely a glitch of sorts, right? It has to be. It's actually a really cool scene, not gonna lie. With the light, I like that. I did it. Has anyone else known about that glitch? The random freaking crazy cap glitch? Where crazy, because I mean, it's it's got to be a glitch, right? Because the crazy cap guy was there before he was supposed to be. The dragon was still there, but... Uncle Toad and Uncle Am or <laughs> the Helper Toad and Uncle Amiibo weren't there yet. So obviously I somehow triggered the crazy cap guy. So something in the co game's code triggers the crazy cap guy, and then Hint Toad and Uncle Amiibo are triggered by defeating the boss. But obviously, for some weird reason, um the uh the crazy cap guy wasn't triggered by the same thing, and that's odd. Right? A little weird. Infiltrate Bowser's castle. Oh, do, do not mind if I do. This is, for one, this is it. The showdown. Is this it? Is this, is this it? No, this isn't it. Shut up. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, what are you, I'm like, what? Is this it? I don't remember. <laughs> but, uh, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Let's change outfits, because I'm not going out there as a gosh dilly dang chef. I would rather turn on random and go out there with whatever outfit I come out with compared to being a chef. You're beautiful. Alright, let's do it. Should be new, my new thumbnail icon. Alright, Bowser. 
Not only do I have a stylish backwards cap that works good with oil, but I have a tube in case there's water. I'm literally prepared for everything. Bring, come on! Come on! I'll take you all on! I'll stack you! I'm not afraid of doing some stacking! Come here! Y'all get stacked! Bam! You're stacked! Bam! You're stacked! Bam! Triple stack! Oh, there's a button right over here. Good for the 10 stacking! Kind of expected a female Goomba. The Goomba button's a little weird mechanic, but hey, to each its own. Stack up above the wall. So now, <coughs> still got a little bit of cough, but for the most part, I'm feeling a heck of better. So as you notice, um, for one, Japanese, very, very Japanesey, which is not unrealistic for Nintendo. Thing is, other Japanese-based company. Just a just a very interesting choice, because in past Bowser games we've had castles, as I tried to explain earlier. We've had Neo Bowser City, which is like this weird, like Hollywood Vegas-esque neon future American city. Like it's very much like. I mean, not to. I guess it could be like anywhere, but I mean, come on. And I mean. This is very much Japan, which is awesome. I love, I love the theme. I do. It's great. And the the ashes are like the the embers and the ashes. And I mean that's just so cool. I mean, come on. It's not, it's not a bad world. It's just interesting, you know. Like when you when you take a bite out of like the restaurant, like I ate at for lunch. Oh, okay, fireman, cool. Don't mind a free power moon. Don't mind if I diddly do. Now wait, there's no set power moon to so be collecting. So literally, this is supposed to be the final showdown. Cool. Um, I had lunch today at uh, a pizza place, and they had chicken alfredo. And normally, I would eat pizza at a pizza place, but I was just like, nah, chicken alfredo sounds good, and two other people were getting it, so like, I'm gonna get it too. And it came highly recommended on the menu and by the people eating it, etc. And so I'm like, cool. Chicken Alfredo. You cannot go wrong with Chicken Alfredo. And it wasn't... Stop pushing me. It wasn't bad. It was interesting. It was different. You know? Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I literally cannot explain the flavor. It was... I mean, in theory, it was Chicken Alfredo. It just didn't taste like Chicken Alfredo. It tasted a little... off? Like, kind of a little bit uh, more sour than I probably was used to. And sour is a very strange word to use. Because it was a very strange flavor to uh, to witness. Oh, okay. That's... Alright, you have to die. Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that sound effect. It's like Donkey Kong if he was in a Japanese game. But, freaking... Alright, cool. First power moon... But not even. It's like my third power moon, but, you know, I mean, cool. Give me a cutscene. Oh, 325. That's good. Yeah. Glad you showed the date on that one. Definitely didn't absolutely 100% for real date the episode. But, you know, I mean, that's great. That's cool. Don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. Smart bombing. Just so you know, it already showed the date of 325. It is late at night. So, don't be surprised if randomly during one of these episodes is 326, if it comes after midnight. Um... As you may, uh, as you don't know, episode two of Super Mario Odyssey has been posted. So as, I mean, you can probably do the dates by looking on YouTube, but, um, so as of the time I'm recording this episode, probably episode 12, if I'd have to guess, maybe 13? I think this is episode 12. Oh, okay, cool. Um, episode one and episode two were posted on the same day on Friday. And hopefully you guys actually watch this series. I mean, if y'all don't, it's not the end of the world. It's just, like, I I feel like this has been a really fun series so far, and I feel like it's been a very good series compared to a lot of my series, you know? I mean, I, I like so many of my series, but there's some where I look back on and they don't age well. I feel like this one will be pretty good for at least a little while. Um, so I get my new gaming computer up and running, huh? Huh? Yeah? That's a thing, apparently. Um, 
But I don't know. It, it you know, the first two episodes got posted on. <laughs> I almost tried to kill me. Uh, first two episodes got posted on Friday. Okay. <laughs> right in the hole. And um, because I got overwhelmed with excitement, poking your nose in the plaster wall. I've done that. I got overwhelmingly excited, and I was like, I. I was like, I have to post both of these episodes. I cannot wait until Monday or possibly Wednesday to post these two episodes. So I guess these aren't for anything, huh? So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna post them now. And I did, and I'm happy that I did. But uh, that being said, um, only two episodes have come up so far. So this is episode 12, I'm recording very far in advance, but it's actually a good thing because I used to record so far in advance on both Calibre Gamer and on Brobits that it would cause issues where like I would reference things and expect to like have played closer to the time of those things like events in the real world and then it like totally ruins like just the flow and the continuity because it's like I remember one episode of Brobits I literally referenced um I, I referenced uh Halloween and it came out around Christmas time or it was like I referenced Christmas and it came out in the summer I think that's what it was either way it was jacked up should not have happened should not have should not have been that wrong um, but it was and that being said I try not to date the episodes I can't help but date these episodes but it's kind of to my advantage because I mean I don't know it's not to my advantage I guess it's not the right word um but I don't know. I've, I've been kind of on top of editing recently, even though I had like three or four editors that were helping me, but now like they're all like busy and they all haven't been able to help me, which is totally fine. I don't pay anyone, so it's not like I should expect them to help me. And like they have their own projects and their own jobs and school and you know, I can't, I can't expect them to do my work for me, you know? They were nice enough to volunteer in the first place. And the fact that most of them got a lot of editing done was super helpful. But I'm just saying that I'm proud of myself for actually, you know, being able to find time to not fail school, but also record and edit. So yay. Everybody wins. You die. <laughs> Except for you. You die. BAM! Don't think that worked the way I wanted it. BAM! Okay, got one of them. I don't know what it's making. Ow! How dare you? I guess I did kill your brother. What noise is it making though? Come on. He won't. There we go. Yep, no, that's great. Glad I killed myself over one health piece. That works. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> that's awesome. Bam! Oh, easy. Easy, kid. Easy. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, you can hit the plaster, but you can't hit the metal. It's uh interesting quote unquote mechanic. I have fun no, no, I'm kidding, it's a good mechanic. It it makes it adds on to the mechanic of the uh, forks we saw in the last world, but you get to move them around. Very similar, um, in ow in theory, to the Cloud Mario costume in Super Mario Galaxy. I think Super Mario Galaxy 1, although... God, did Cloud appear in Super Mario Galaxy 2? It, I don't think so. I think Cloud was in Super Mario Galaxy 1. So there's not anything I should get from these. Maybe some purple coins. Probably gonna regret not immediately breaking those blocks. But uh, let me at least get this gosh dang power move before I kill myself again. <sighs> I'm not, yeah, you know, I'm still feeling a little bit of rage about the dragon thing. Was that in this episode? Pretty positive it was in this episode. These episodes are 30 minutes long, so I kind of lose track of, like, continuity? Oh, the big brutal battle. Oh, whichever one of you are left. I love it! I love, I love the, like, lore going on. I keep saying lore. Like, I've been watching a lot of lore videos. Not even, like, map pack, just in general. Uh, but not bad, of course. Game theory for the win. I I'm not gonna lie. A lot of game theories, theories, a lot of map theories are goofy. 
But they're supposed to be. I mean, they're, they're theories. Like, I, and, and then even then, like, they're all based in some pretty awesome, like, math and facts and science. And even if you don't agree with them, or even if you think they're too goofy, or that they're, you know... Like, uh, he recently did, um, as of this video, recently did a lore video on Fortnite. And, you know, you, you hear that. You hear that it's going to be a lore video on Fortnite. And you're thinking, oh, Matt Pat, Fortnite is just a, a PUBG uh, knockoff. And a better one at that. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Fortnite. I've been playing it a lot recently. In fact, you guys should friend me on Fortnite. I uh, don't know my username, and I won't give it out in a public video, but you should add me as a friend anyway. Message me, or something. Comment down below. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. But, um, yeah, he did a lore video on Fortnite. Okay, that was idiotic at best. How do I... Oh, death? Okay, great. Actually, maybe I can... <laughs> Work smart, not hard, Caleb. Work smart, not hard. Um, he did a lore video on Fortnite, and it was odd, because it's like, you know, please don't make a lore video on an FPS, you know, shooter game. I mean, it's a fun one. It's not a bad game to make a lore video on, I guess, but it's not a good one either. But he took it, and he ran with it, and he did a great job running all the way with it. I mean, freaking, I think the, the end point was that, like, the game takes place on Venus? And the f and like at first I was like okay buddy stretching a little bit, but then he even points out like how far off the grid the creators were trying to go to not say the word Earth, but instead we're saying the world, mysterious world, etc. Like obviously it's not Earth. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's Venus or even that it exists in our frame of reality. But I mean as far as like all the science and all the like pieces he was piecing together made a lot of sense made a heck of a lot of sense more sense it probably should have made but you know that's what I love about game theory is it takes stuff like that and it, it does it good did you ever think we'd be playing a Mario game that uh that this this scene happening right here uh you, you ever think this was gonna be a Mario game if Miyamoto was dead he'd be rolling in his grave but he's not dead, so I didn't. I don't know why I made that joke. Anyway, I gotta go. Thank you guys for playing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out with me in general. Be sure to like and comment on the video if you want to see more console goodness, Super Mario Odyssey, and other games. And until then, I'm gonna kill myself. That's yeah, that's great. That's ideal. Um, subscribe to stay calibrated. Hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified of the next. That's amazing. Next episode. And I forgot about the most amazing feature that I accidentally discovered when I was playing this game. Um, if you grab a random costume from the closet or from the shop, it doesn't just give you a random costume. It gives you a random costume every time you die. So every time- so I might have to keep this mode on. Because every time you die, that's actually- that's odd. That is the the, the 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 freaking amount of hats I have and the amount of outfits I have. The fact that it actually lined up a hat with an outfit. That is that is costume lottery, my friend. Anyway, I gotta go. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>